Today's weekend project, Saturday project, is a big pile of wood chips. I got this from Chip Drop. It is a free service that you can get from your local arborist. And basically, um, you can donate 20 bucks. Uh, that's what it would cost the arborist to pay Chip Drop to do this, or you can just pay their fee and the local arbor, whoever is nearby can come by and drop it. You can specify kind of what you want. Uh, for me, I wanted uh, hardwood wood chips. Uh, I don't care if some of the green stuff is in there. It'll help break it down. But we're going to put this back by the chicken coop. <coughs> there are four ways to do this. And I'm going to go over every one. Right now, I'm going to talk about the first three. And then watch to the end of the video. And I'll tell you number four. First, wheelbarrow. Yes, you can. But you got to lift all the wood chips up kind of high. That'll stretch your arms out after about a thousand, um, you know, uh, stro strokes of this. This is a small size um, deer sled, snow sled, just uh, be able to move stuff around. It's real popular up north. I use it down here. We, our kids use it for snow sledding this year, for hauling a deer out of the woods. Uh, twice this year and uh, around the house is carrying things and then a trash can this is um, not my favorite but is an option as well uh, it gets kind of heavy and it's kind of awkward to carry and stay tuned for number four but you have to make sure you have this the old school pitch fork um, scooper this is a pretty good one because it's kind of industrial grade um, but the, the reason you want this and not a shovel is because you can dig right in and it'll keep a lot of it together but you got to have that if you want to do this quickly and efficiently so i forgot to tell you guys why i like this mulch and what it's being used for so we had just pine straw down here and the chickens already made a mess of their coop so we went went ahead and added all this in there they love to scratch around and the reason we love this it is 100 percent natural there's no dye no additional chemicals or anything in it it is cut down from a tree this week ground up and dumped off at my house so yes it'll be a while before it breaks down but once it breaks down it's gonna be awesome and this is why i like this sled over all the other options is once you get to where you're going you can dump half of it you can kind of pull it and dump the other half so then you can take either a rake or um, anything and just kind of spread it out i've been using a, a rake so whatever i have left over instead of again using the pine straw mulch i'm going to go ahead and put this underneath all my other areas this is our rabbit hutch and rabbit run if you want to see my other videos on that you can watch it but these little guys these little holland locks are happy happy and here hey sally She's cleaning her feet off and uh, again our chickens give you an update on that i built that if you want to see the video on that and now they're laying almost a dozen eggs a day which is really cool and i did not put my garden video in here but these are some cedar boxes i built if you want to check out some more of my videos on youtube i'm going to wrap up how to move this mulch video but if you want to know what the number four option is to move mulch it's the tarp so obviously i like to put this uh, dump it on a tarp, but you can also have a 8x8 or 8x10 tarp. You can put a little bit on there at a time and you can drag it. I've seen that from landscape crews, especially in the fall when they're moving large debris uh, of light debris like leaves and stuff. So and that's it. I'm going to knock this out. Thanks for watching.